did you ever mention this in any of your articles that uh, to do this other site that you talk about that the city would have to pay for? It? No, but I will make this comment. I think if the city paid for an alternate site selection, matter of fact, I think they should go a step bigger, Bill, and I think they should get with the coupling counties and do a regional study to see if a regional airport might be profitable for our area. Well, Bill says he's finished. And just a few comments um, that I'd like to make. Our, our intention all along as the board is to you know, go ahead and develop and uh, run the airport, kind of, uh, well, not, not ignore opposition. Certainly want to listen to that. Uh, op opposing opinions are certainly expected and welcome, welcome. People with good intentions can have differing opinions and can certainly disagree. Um, some just a few comments I'd like to make. We kind of like have ignored a lot of things along the way, but gosh, after so many articles, it's kind of like swift voting. We felt like we've been uh, kind of hammered quite a bit um, by Gene in your articles and such. Uh, John Kerry ignored the swift voters long enough where he failed to win his election. Um, again, the airport some things I'd like to mention, you know, the Greensburg Daily News has, in fact, given us some positive press, but they're also in the business to sell some newspapers and given a lot of press to a, to a few naysayers and some people, uh, um, and Gene and your column and such. Uh, one thing I want to mention, it's been the same article basically 15, 16 times all over again. I believe in the airport, I believe it should go somewhere else, and it's been... It's been over, what would you say, 21 times? It's just over and over and over. And what I'd like to mention, in none of those articles, Gene, not once, not not one time have you asked any questions of any of these board members, myself, Bill, or any of the board members over here, whether you agree or disagree with us, our opinions, or get a slant on that. You've written a lot of articles about the airport, but not one time have you asked a board member any questions about the airport or tried to, or had asked for any clarifications whatsoever. The very, at the very best, that could be considered poor journalism. Um, in two, uh, uh, you know, in regards to the smokescreen comment, you know, I was sitting here. I know Bill. I know what he meant. Bill knows what he meant. You can, you can say, no, Bill, you didn't mean this. You meant something else. But Bill clearly meant what he said. And uh, you, if you misinterpret it and want to ride with that, there's nothing we can do about that. But Bill clarified what he meant by the smokescreen comment. Uh, in the fund, there's been a lot of talk about the, you know, the funding, no funds for Greensburg. You know the FAA, their 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 stance, and, and I think that's been used unfairly against this project quite a bit. The FAA has been very clear, and they say this for all the projects that they give millions and millions of dollars to, that there is no funding for Greensburg, there's no funding for St. Louis, there's no funding until they cut the check. It's just like you go to university; there is no degree for you at the university until you have fulfilled all your requirements. And there is no funding for Greensburg until we have completed all the studies, all the jump through all the hoops, met all the requirements, and when the check's on the way, now there's funding for Greensburg. It's been, that's an awkward way that they do it. They don't promise any funds until the final, all the I's are dotted, all the T's are crossed, but nonetheless, the funding, you know, we work with the FAA uh, in regards to this, and it's certainly unfair to say that there's no funding available for Greensburg. So, some other things, you know, we talked about, uh, you talk about regional airports. So you're the only person I know that has a thing for regional airports. We've had discussions with Ripley County about airports and such. Ripley County has no interest in putting any money in an airport that's in Decatur County, and you can say vice versa. It serves no purpose whatsoever. If we're going to put an airport out here towards Ripley County, we may as well just use Shelbyville or some other airport that's not that much further away. Um, that's why we don't look that direction. There's also a lot of talk about this the, another site. We we'll just build it. We'll build this airport somewhere else. And let me say this for everybody to understand about this other site. No one in the course of all the time I've been on this board and when I was on the city county board, not one person ever ever has come up and said, "Here's your other site. This is the property. These are the property owners." Uh, they keep referring to another site where the property owners are willing to sell, that the neighbors won't complain and the birds don't fly overhead. We refer to this property as Oz because Oz does not exist. There are always problems no matter where you go, whether we be here or somewhere else. Um, but there is no one has ever presented us with another site or another viable site at all. Another thing I'd like to bring up in regards to you, you wrote an extensive article about gifts, the uh, board, uh, board accepting gifts 
and made a big deal over that, how wrong that was, as if we were going to get Super Bowl tickets or something. It's very clear that it's in the Indiana Code that the board in the, in the, uh, uh, for the city of Greensburg be able to accept gifts. We have a citizen who anonymously donated $30,000, as everybody knows, has been mentioned in the meeting, toward the, uh, you know, for the airport development. And uh, my question is for the Greensburg Daily News, what a wonderful story that is, and I haven't seen that yet in the paper. You know, that someone out of their own pocket, out of their own money, would donate $30,000 toward this project, and we've yet to see a story on that. And what a wonderful story that would make. Um, and again, again, I'd like to say, you know, good people with good intentions certainly disagree how we go about it, and they're certainly knocking heads, and, uh, you know, I understand you can't, build an airport, an interstate, a reservoir, or anything without stepping on people's toes, so it creates a lot of discord. Please trust in us that we, as appointed members of this board, do what we feel is in the best interest of the city of Greensburg. It may not meet with your approval, We certainly, and we certainly expect, you know, we, we expect that there's going to be some discord, we expect that there's going to be some people with some disagreement, but we're working what we feel is in your best interest. And... Um, Although we don't expect all positive press all the time in the newspaper, we would certainly like to have at least a fair shake with it once in a while. John, I would like to address some of the things that you've said. Sure, go ahead. You mentioned IC code and gifts. Actually, what I referred to was the City of Greensburg ordinance that was passed under the last mayor. It refers to gifts, but it also refers to allowing the person giving that gift to be able to put stipulations on that gift. That is... I, I think wrong, and I and I'm I'm sorry if you guys don't agree morally. I think that's wrong. That's giving one taxpayer because he's got the money to gift it preference over another taxpayer. Well, I and, should. And the statement also was written. If it is accepted, it's in the best interest of the airport. So the board would have the ability to say no. Yes, and I pointed that out in the article that you would have the opportunity to say no to it. It was pointed out in the article if you want to go back and check. On the statements by Mr. Delaney, um, when I did those statements about what he said on the funding, they were actual quotes, and you can go back and check the articles. And I still have the emails yes, confirming, I I, no, I have right here, Jean, confirming know what, what he said. Mean, you know better than anybody that there is, will be funding for this airport. We have talked, the mayor has talked to Mr. Delaney, or the board's talked with him, you know the process, but to use that, you know, it's their official stance that there's no money for Greensburg. I stated that's, what that's, he said. Is, you know what? You can take that little quote and snip it out and put it hanging out there by itself, but everybody knows that's not the case. And to use that against the board is just wrong. It's misleading and it's incorrect. He Well, let's put it this way. I did a synopsis of the information that was given to me by the FAA, sent it in, and had Sandy Lyman check it out with the rest of them and confirm what I had said. And she confirmed what I said. Yes, yeah, Cindy's not been in that capacity for a couple of years now. I'm talking about the confirmation I received at the time. Okay. What else did you mention, John? Because I, um, can you give me a tick list? Because there, I, I can. Well, you mentioned the regional airport, which so far has a, a following of one, I think. But you know, I, we talked about Ripley County. Has no. We have talked with officials from Ripley County. They have no interest in participating. Yes, in and I, I've got the newspaper article that so. states that they would like to have it located in their county. But another thing that needs to be considered in your own ALP report, it shows from the different counties what your percentage of based aircraft is. And it also makes a statement in your ALP report at one point where it says something to the effect of that looking at the population of Greensburg and basing it on statistics, that you come out like 1.45 aircraft per persons in the county. And they could only attribute that growth since on the, on the current facility, as it is, to the fact that you were drawing regionally. That's in the ALP. So with that in mind, let's say Ripley County builds them a regional airport in Ripley County. Are you going to lose Franklin, Ripley, from your base numbers? I'd, I'd like to address that. Right off the bat, the personal aircraft that you're talking about not the reason the airport is being expanded. I understand that, Bill. It for the betterment and economic growth of the city of Greensburg, <clears throat> take care of the factories uh, for last-minute deliveries and whatever. Uh, I assume you're aware, I don't know, maybe you aren't, 
of how many letters we have to support with the number of flights anticipated coming into and out of Greensburg 